Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is an exciting time on the Lee University campus. It's move-in check-in weekend, and we're very happy to be having some coffee with our president, Dr. Mark Walker. Dr. Walker, good morning. How are you, sir? I'm good. We can't handshake, but we can. We can. can, we, we, can, can we can do it. We can do that, can't we? There we go. That's good. Good to see you. Good to be with you. Beautiful day, and man, it's exciting. People are moving in, not moving out. That's right. That's a wonderful, wonderful time. And it's since uh, been a few months since we've had students on campus in this way, so. We're very excited about this time of the year and very excited about this parent session. Uh, coffee, uh, I'm having water. I don't know about you, Dr. Walker. I think the same. It's water, but, it, it, but it's, it's great co uh, coffee cups that we have. So uh, usually, Dr. Walker, we're over in the con center on a day like this. And so our parents might be watching from their homes. They may have dropped their son or daughter off already in, in Cleveland and gone back home, or maybe they're here still this weekend, but it's a little different look this time than what we're used to. Yeah, well, everything's a little different these days. Yeah, normally we would be in Con Center, exciting. We, got, we would have faculty in there. We would be robed up, the yeah. regalia, and uh, just, just all of the energy of that. But unfortunately, we're not in normal, usual times. But thank God for technology. Yes. Thank God we can do this and still talk to our parents that are dropping their students off or have already dropped them off. And that's what we want to do today. We want to talk to you and tell you about how Lee University uh, approaches this process and how we partner with the parents. So Dr. Walker, I think we'll just jump right in and talk about that. The first word we want to talk about, this is a partnership. We are partnering with the parents as their sons or daughters come to Lee. Yeah. That's a great way to say it, Phil. Um, one of the things we're partnering with, especially since we're now in all of this COVID-19, we're partnering with their safety. Right. And as you know, and hopefully some of the parents, most of the parents have been watching the Q&As we've been doing, been looking at uh, the documents we have on, on the website, and we should have on there now a, a total opening guide for the fall that gives all the details of what we're going to be doing on this campus. But yeah, we'll be doing all of the guidelines and protocols according to the CDC and according to the Tennessee health department. And uh, so we're partnering to keep this place safe for, for our students. Um, but we're also partnering in that process with, our, with the parents in terms of uh, transitioning responsibility. Right. And it's not a matter of now we're taking on the responsibility of the parent per se, but we're helping the parents transfer responsibility to their child. Um, this, is a, this is a growing up time. This is a time when now we want to help the students have more control um, and, and not just be forced on them in some capacity. Now, the, as soon as I say that, parents may be going, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. But because uh, it's a scary time when all of a sudden your, your child, your student that you have been protecting, you have been watching over and, and now they're kind of on their own. Um, and it's an adjustment for both. It's an adjustment for the parent. It's an adjustment for the for their child and there is a tension there that exists and what we want to do here at Lee is try to help with that tension. I mean, uh, we're not going to be here to get their child up at, in the morning to go to class, make sure they're in bed on time. Right? They're on make their sure, own with that. They, exactly, they got to do that. Make sure they're studying or eating, you know, right and all that. I mean, all the things are going to be in place to encourage all of that. But that's some of the responsibility they have to take. Right. Um, so we're going to help in that transition um, as, as scary as that can be. Um, and I think what, when students come, I think what the parents can, can expect are, are some specific type things that can happen. Yep. Um, I think they can expect for their child to be unsettled. Yes. Uh, it's, it's new. It's different. It's going to take a little time for, the, for their child to to really get into the rhythm, perhaps, um, being on their own. They, they may even begin to second guess, why did I choose Lee? Why am I here? You know, because this isn't youth camp. Right. It's, it is a college. It is a university. You do have to study. And maybe all the glitz and the glamour of excitement of going to college and the beautiful campus and activities, and all of a sudden they realize, you know what? I have to study. Right. <laughs> I, I got to read. I got to write papers. <clears throat> I, I gotta wash my clothes. I mean, it's on your own. <laughs> on that's your right. own, and there's that's an unsettledness. And they thought, I don't, I don't. This wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And if I could encourage students, and I've, I've had two kids go through this whole process yeah. right here at Lee. Yeah. Um, if I can encourage our parents, give your child time. 
resist every temptation to swoop in <laughs> and rescue. Let, let them flounder a little bit on their own. Um, that's a part of the growing up. That's a part, part of that process. And I would say this to, to parents, where do you see your child in the next four to six years? Right. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't bring him here to leave for a semester. <laughs> you brought him, them here for a, at least four, some maybe longer, <laughs> year experience, development. Resist the temptation to swoop in and, and to rescue. Let that, let that play out. See long term. Um, I think what parents can also expect, Phil, is their, their child is going to be exposed to a, a, a diverse culture. Yeah. They're going to have folks coming in from all over the world, different views, different opinions, different ideas. Uh, even within Christianity, there's different views, opinions, and ideas about things. And that's a good thing in terms of development. Right. We, we need to recognize that there are others out there. We're, we're, we're of a global citizenship, if you will. And for Lee, that's very, very important. That's why we have the global perspectives, the cross-cultural experiences. We are a part of a, of a worldwide community, if you will. And so um, it's a great thing for students to experience that. But parents realize your, your student may come home or text you or call you and I talked to so-and-so or I met so-and-so and this is what they think or whatever. Again, don't get panicked by that. Not that that would be a bad thing in terms of what they might have heard from somebody, but understand they will be exposed. And that's great. It's great for their critical thinking. It's great for them to understand more about who they are and learn more about a lot of other people. And within that, they're gonna make great relationships. Yes. They, will, they will make relationships for a lifetime, especially here at Lee, you hear it all the time. You see Lee people everywhere. Yep. True. Um, and they remember the days at Lee. They remember those that they connected with. Um, and I think the best thing that parents can expect is for their student to grow up. Yeah. That's, that's in essence, what, what this, this process is about um, and, and growing up and becoming responsible and really seeing what their life is all about and what they're, what they're called to. Um, we want to be a part a big part in this, in this part of these students' lives of, of helping them really discover what that is and grow up into what I would believe most parents want for their child to be, have, be a responsible Christian, um, doing productive, positive work, making a productive, positive difference in the world. That's, that's that's what we're inviting in our, our parents to partner with us and what we are offering to partner with them about. Uh, we've, I've said it, one of the phrases I like to say, it's who we are and it's what we do here at Lee. And, and, and as we said when we started, we're, we're, we're filming this or taping this during check-in weekend. So you might be hearing some, some excitement around us that's going on. So we're still cutting grass and we're still having students move things in as we grow, but there's some natural things going on and the, the energy is building. Although it is a different time, there is definitely an energy that we're feeling on campus. And Dr. Walker, you mentioned you've done this twice uh, mm -hmm. with your uh, children at Lee. A year ago, I moved a son into the dorm okay. and it was a little different than moving the daughters in. You know, <laughs> daughters, it took all day, took hours. I think we're done, right. we were done in about 30 minutes with my son. His room was ready to go and, and it was great. But, but parents are, uh, they can be a scary process mm -hmm. and there are a lot of things going on, but there are some things at Lee that we are committed to. Yes. And it flows, especially in light of COVID, trans, to all the things going on with COVID-19, Dr. Walker, with this transition time for parents. But we have a very clear mission and that's what we're called to do here at Lee. Absolutely, and that mission in essence would be to help these students discover what their calling is yes. and be developed in that calling. <clears throat> we believe that everyone is called to relationship with God through yes. Jesus Christ. We are a Christ-centered liberal arts university. And when we say Christ-centered, we just don't mean that, that we're gonna have some Christian values or Christian rules. We truly want our students to understand how much God loves them and has demonstrated that through the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We're not gonna ram that down their throats. Not everyone who attends Lee University is a Christian or follows Jesus Christ, but we are going to help our students understand we believe that's what makes us fully human. Yeah. 
we're designed, uh, we're made in the image of God, we're loved by God. Uh, he has called us to His purposes to make a difference in the earth according to His purposes for His kingdom. That's what we believe real life is and everyone is called to that. And through chapel, through convocation, through our religion core, uh, through small groups and a res life, we, that's, we want our students to understand that reality. And within that calling relationship with God through Jesus Christ, we're also called in Him to serve this world, to serve creation, to serve our neighbor. You know, Ephesians 2.10 is a scripture here at Lee that we hold to that really lays this out. We're, the Apostle Paul writes, for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works with God prepared in advance for us to do. That, that word workmanship, some translations say handiwork, some translations say masterpiece. Yeah. The Greek word here, and I don't want to get all Bible theology here on us, but I could, I could really <laughs> go there easily, but I'll, I'll hold off for just one more moment, is the, the word poema, where we get the word poem. Yeah. And so the idea that we're God's poem, we are works in progress. His masterpiece, a masterpiece of an artist, it's, it's the piece that best reflects the artist. That's the masterpiece. Well, we're his creation that best reflects him. Um, and, and so in a relationship with him, we, we discover that. And then he's called us to be that reflection in this earth. We're his image bearers. Yeah. And so we want our students to understand that reality. These were called to this service of to humanity in reflection of this God who loves us dearly. And then the third part of that calling is we all have a vocation or a career path to which he's calling us where this primarily happens. For me, it was I was, I was called to be a full-time pastor for 33 years prior to coming to Lee. Um, and we have 55 different majors here yeah. at, at Lee. And, this, and, and so we wanna help our students discover who they are in Jesus Christ, what he has called them to do in serving humanity in the specific career path and vocation um, that they have and, and, and that they're called to be a part of a community. Yes. Um, we serve one another, we build one another up. Lee is a community, Lee is a family. And uh, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is what makes Lee great, is, is this community family feel that we have as an institution and as a university. So that's really kind of our call and our mission that we really want to <laughs> bring your, your child uh, through and, and send them forth. Yeah, and and things, that we, things that we hold dear, we require. So we do, we make, we make our students serve. It's part of who we are. We, we give cups of cold water in, in, in Jesus' right. name to people, right? right? And so that's a part of who we are, but you're right about the community. Even in this COVID time, we are we can't wait for the community. That's why we're so committed doing what we're doing, Dr. Walker, and I appreciate you sharing that. So, you know, parents have some, 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 some things that they might be thinking about as they prepare for their children as well. What kind of advice do we have for student, or for parents rather, who may be thinking, look, this is the first time they've done this, and maybe they've done it before, but what kind of advice does Lee, and, and you as president say, here's what we think you should be thinking of as we partner together in this journey? One, that trust God, that God's got your child. Yeah. As much as you love your child, God loves your child even more. That's right. And has a distinct call before they were ever born. Tr trust God with your, with your child. Trust us, <laughs> trust Lee. Um, and maybe this is the first child you have sent off to college, the first child to have here at Lee. And you're saying, well, I'm trying to develop that trust. Well, let me ask you to trust our track record. S see what we've been about yeah. all these years, especially the past 34 years under the leadership of Dr. Khan. Uh, but trust God, trust Lee, trust your child. You know, you may be sending that child out the door and going, oh, I don't know. Hey, listen, trust your child. Uh, you've instilled some great things into your child. Trust that he or she is going to lean on those and then develop his or her own. And then I would say to moms and dads, trust yourself. You've done well, you know, um, that, hey, okay. I haven't been a perfect parent, but I hate to tell you, you don't have perfect children either. You should know that by <laughs> now, right? <laughs> We're not a perfect institution. That's right. 
Uh, but that's why we all need a savior. That's why we all got to trust in God. But trust yourself. You've done well. You've sent them forth. You've equipped them as far as you can to this stage of their life. That doesn't mean that equipping process has stopped, but it's going to change. So yeah, Phil, you know, I think when my wife and I sent our kids out, that's, that's the thing we had to, and I remember sitting in the, the, the parent orientation yep. when both our son and daughter came here. And I remember hearing these very similar words coming from Dr. Khan, which were very settling for us. Yes. And I hope as I'm sharing them, right. um, it's very settling for our parents as well. And this is what we, we want to give you that advice and give you that encouragement as we talk about this partnership and what we are hoping for you as parents. But uh, we are a Christ Center institution, but we are a university. And, and we are, we're getting our students to think certain ways, right? Right, right? So we're not just engaging the emotive community part because we're a university. So in very specific ways, we ask our students to think certain ways as yep. well. So how, how would you give advice to the stu parents to say, and students that might be watching, here's what we want you to think and how we want you to think as you're here at Lake. Great question. We want, we want them to think uh, Christian through the lens of the, 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 the Christian values, obviously, in Scripture, to think critically, right. to be able to reason, to think creatively. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons we're liberal arts. Yeah. And you know, so, so much of higher ed now is being challenged in the liberal arts area. It's, it's so much of a a career-oriented uh, kind of higher ed uh, environment these days. And there's not anything wrong with that. Obviously, we want to prepare the students to go out to do good work and, and be equipped to go do their calling. So I'm, I'm not suggesting one's right or wrong. I'm just suggesting that we're liberal arts because we believe in the development of the whole individual. Right. And to be thinking creatively, thinking critically, but to think through the lens of, the, of, the, of Christianity. Um, I think another thing I would say is to think globally. We mentioned it earlier. We're part of a global uh, society and, and citizenship to appreciate and understand different cultures, different views. You know, I think there's a great understanding or, or thought that I'm not sure in our culture happens very much. By our culture, I'm talking about just the, the, the world culture of today. So many times we're seeking to be understood and that's okay, but I think first we got to seek to understand right. and not just seek to be understood. And so the whole thing globally to understand other cultures, appreciate that, even though we may not agree in some ways, but to recognize there are different views out there and to, and to engage those views in a respectful way. Um, but to also say, uh, think with service mind. We're servants. We want, we want to serve humanity. We want to serve the world around us. You know, if, if Jesus Christ is truly who we follow, he was the greatest servant to ever be on this, yes. this planet. And that's one of the things I think you mentioned earlier, the service learning that we, right. but I think it's like 80 hours of service learning yes, that we require our students to engage in because we want to get that servant mentality into all of us. And then I think, think excellence. Yes. Thank actions to, to do everything with excellence. One of my, um, I, I guess it's my life scripture, if you will. Colossians three seventeen. whatever you do, yeah. whether word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Um, word or deed in the personhood, the character, the teachings of Christ. And I think, if, if that's the mentality, this, I want to do everything with excellence because one, it glorifies the Lord. Two, it serves humanity in this creation in a greater way. Boy, if we can send our students out with that mentality, I think the world just becomes a better place. Dr. Walker, in, in the past week and a half of your presidency, you've talked to a, many, all of us at Lee, the Lee faculty and staff, the deans and chairs about how Lee in these unprecedented and un uncertain times, and in particular how President Mark Walker is leading us. I think it'd be great for our parents of new students and our new students to hear from you, your heart, about how we're approaching that. That is to say, yes, we have a crisis and we're managing it, but our mission doesn't change. And I think those are great thing, a great thing that you could share with our parents as well. Yeah, Phil, thank you. Yeah, we're managing the crisis. As we said at the, at the opening of this, we're putting all the different protocols and guidelines in place to, to in, ensure the safety of our students, our faculty and our staff, which is very, very important. 
but we got to be very careful that managing the crisis does not become our mission. Right. And the reason we're managing the crisis is yes, to keep everyone safe, but it's also so we can continue to advance the mission because we're so sold on what God's called us to be and what Lee is about in, in preparing students for responsible Christian living in a complex world. And call us crazy, but we don't think COVID-19 should stop that. Yes. We're not, we're not, we're not preparing students to live cowardly Christian lives to withdraw from a complex Come on. world. Yes, I agree. Yes, I mean, sir. the world has become more complex than ever. Yep. So that mission and the need to send out Lee students that are really prepared to engage this complex world um, with, with uh, a Christ-centered approach to life and living and doing work is needed now more than ever. And we firmly believe, I mean, and we're unapologetic about right. this, Lee students make a huge difference in this world. And we, we want to get Lee students everywhere we can get them in this world to, to, to bring the difference that we believe they're called to bring and Lee is to help them do. Um, we're not going to neglect the crisis. We're going to manage it, but it's for the sole purpose. And I've used this illustration yeah, a couple of times. And, and if I can go to that, the, you know, once COVID-19 believing it is going to pass, I think the mask will be the universal symbol because yeah. you see it, you'll recognize immediately what we're talking about. But the mask, this manages the crisis, right? But you're, we, you don't cover your eyes. You, you're still are looking, you're still looking forward. So that's, that's what I see. We're managing this crisis, but we got to continue to look forward and it's going to be different. I mean, we're social distance in the classroom. We're going to be a hybrid approach. Uh, we may have faculty standing behind plexiglass. Uh, you, you know, some of our classes, the larger ones, we've got to rotate students in and out and it's going to be different. It's going to be unusual for everybody. Nobody's ever been here before. This right. is unusual for everybody, but we're doing all of that. That's managing the crisis, but we firmly believe the best way for our students to learn, to develop, to grow, to become all God wants them to be is in that classroom, man. Yes, yes. Um, and, and so I may, I may get to preaching. I'm sorry. It's an, I, I, would, I did it for 33 years. It's an occupational hazard. It's in me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're looking to do be, because we're so sold on who we are at Lee and we just don't believe uh, a world pandemic needs to stop us completely for doing that. Right. I, don't, I don't want anybody to hear me wrong. I'm not saying we're going to ignore it or neglect it. We're going to be very much engaged with it. It's not our mission. It's become a part of our mission so we can do the mission. Yes. And, um, and I would say this too, Phil, as we wrap up our time, parents help us with this. Really encourage your students to take personal responsibility. We talked about all that, right? But in terms of the safety, um, when they come on campus, masks are going to be required. Incur it really instill into them, hey, you, you may not feel as unsure and unsafe as others, but others do. And so giving that servant mindedness again, and one of our values here is responsible citizenship. Think other minded. Others may feel very unsure about it. So wear the mask, keep the social distancing, wash your hands, do all those things. Come, it's going to take personal responsibility on everybody's part. Um, but yeah, we... We're doing all of this, even doing this differently because we are so, we're so sold on what we believe Lee is about and what God's called us to do. Excellent. Well, as Dr. Walker said, um, we're doing this uh, in, in unprecedented times, but we're doing it for you. And so uh, this morning session on Saturday, we hope you enjoyed maybe coffee or water with us as we prepare <laughs> for the rest of the day. Um, and their service dedication will happen tonight as well. We're going to do that uh, in this virtual format as well. Uh, but classes will start in just a couple of days, and we're excited about this semester Can't wait. and excited about the future of Lee University. Thank you, Dr. Walker, for Thank joining you, us. Thank you, Phil. Appreciate Glad it. Glad to do it. Have a great Saturday, everyone. We'll see you soon.